In, in fact, this HHS mandate, which I've spoken about publicly on MSNBC and so on and so forth. Now, I'm a Protestant evangelical. Uh, I'm not a, ca a Catholic, but this is one of these cases where I think if every American doesn't see this as a threat to America, uh, if every Protestant doesn't see this as a threat to believers in Jesus Christ, we are dead. This is not a Catholic issue. This is an American issue. It's an issue of religious liberty. Without religious liberty, we're dead. There is no America without religious liberty. And if we uh, who uh, believe in this can be marginalized, um, again, there's, there's no America. The whole idea of America, as far as I see it, has to do with the idea is that we protect minorities even if we disagree with them. So it makes no different difference what your position is on contraception. It makes no difference what your position is on the Catholic Church. It makes no difference. If you're an American, you understand this is an issue of principle. And I have to say that in the course of thinking this through, I said this is so oddly similar to where Bonhoeffer found himself in, his, uh, in, in the beginnings of the National Socialist Movement, where he's trying to wake up the church to say, you don't understand, we've got to all speak up now over this. If we don't fight now, uh, if we don't really use all our bullets now, we will have no fight uh, five years from now. It'll be over. This is it. We've got to die on this hill. And most people at the time said, oh, no, this, is, this isn't this is serious enough. You know, it's just this little this little issue. But it's the millimeter which is uh, really, um, you know, it's it's that line that, that we cross. It's not just a millimeter. So anyway, I, I'm, I'm just amazed by, by some of these things. And I'm sorry to say that I see these parallels. I really wish I didn't. But... Um, it's kind of interesting. I think it's the reason that the book has done so well, because I think a lot of Americans have read it and said, wow, this is a warning for us. And I see Bonhoeffer's voice as a prophetic voice. I see him as someone who, uh, like Isaiah or Jeremiah, was saying things to call the people of God to be the people of God. Uh, and we know it's always a struggle for the people of God to actually be the people of God. And and that in his day, clearly, his voice was not heeded. And his voice, if it's prophetic, is really the voice of God. It's not Bonhoeffer's voice. But I think that somehow we might today be getting a second chance, just as we can today say, wasn't Isaiah a great guy? Um, and take what he says seriously. I, I, I hope that the story of Bonhoeffer can wake up the church today uh, so that we don't make the same mistakes and go down the same road. I don't think we need to, but I think we can and we will uh, if we don't um, repent and wake up. Mm -hmm.